Hello everyone, and welcome to Farming Simulator 2013. Um, just picked this game up the other day. I'm having a lot of fun playing it, so I figured I'd go ahead and uh, do some recordings. Um, I got a kind of a weird mic here, so it's going to sound funny. I'm um, going to go ahead and jump in our game here. Um, just been playing around. I figure I'll just... Uh, the, the game takes some time uh, to uh, build up uh, money to play. Um, and I did have uh, three other videos that I made, um, but as it turns out, I'm not very good at uh, making uh, videos. So I'm learning a lot of lessons on do's and don'ts of that formatting and whatnot. And my first three videos are just absolutely gigantic. So I, I, I don't think I'm going to be... Uh, I mean, I tried uploading them to YouTube, and YouTube gave me fits, and I don't have a very good connection anyway. So, you know, just tabbing through here. Um, let's see, what do we need to do? Oh, yeah, um, that's right. What I wanted to do was uh, join these two fields of mine together here. Um, I know for a lot of people out there, if you're just jumping in, um, this is sort of my impromptu uh, episode one. Because, um, uh, like I said, my other episodes kind of went all uh, cattywampus on me. So, that's no big deal. Um, we'll go ahead and just have fun with this one. Um, had a long day at work, so I'm just looking forward to kind of unwind and playing the game. Um, I've actually had a couple of people uh, I've mentioned this game to uh, have uh, expressed uh, surprise, number one, that I've picked up the game. Uh, number two, that it's actually any fun. Um, and this game is actually a lot of fun. Uh, so to explain what I'm doing here is uh, I'm, uh, I, have, I own these three fields. Uh, when you start the game, you just have this one field here that I'm uh, parked on. And uh, effectively, the idea is uh, you go ahead and you plant your stuff, and you harvest your crops, and you gain money so you can buy more fields, so you can buy more toys. Uh, but uh, uh, I, I, I have been uh, just using these two fields here um, separately because they're easier to plant uh, when they're smaller and you got smaller tools. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and join them together, so I can show you guys that. Um, and then later on, um, if you notice down in the lower uh, right-hand corner there, I've got uh, like 250 grand. And I've been uh, eyeing up a harvester uh, that is going to end up costing me something like... Uh, what is it here? Uh, it'll end up costing me like 230 or so. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started going on this. Uh, actually, before we do this, um, this entire field needs to be uh, cultivated. And so I got my disc uh, already set up here, so we're going to go ahead and uh, disc this whole place. Um, so you have to, uh, um, this is what the field looks like. Um, I just harvested canola off it. You can still see a couple of standing there. My workers are a little bit lazy. Um, one of the nice things about this game is you can hire workers to do your, uh, your, your work. As you can see uh, in the upper left-hand corner there, you have a whole um, sort of like tooltip guide that changes depending on what, what vehicle you're in and what you're hooked up to and stuff like that. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and um, uh, let's see here. We are just going to, yep, we just hire a worker. We'll hit H. There we go. And he'll go ahead and cultivate this entire field for us. Uh, when he gets down to the end, he'll lift up the culti or, uh, yeah, the uh, cultivator there, do a, do a little Y turn, put the cultivator back down, and then tear, tear across the fields. Um, this is uh, costing me money uh, to hire the worker, uh, but it's just effective use of time, because since he's doing this, I'm going to go ahead and jump back in this tractor and join these two fields together. So we're going to go ahead and... Uh, get ourselves lined up. Actually, I'm not sure where this plow lines up, so let's go ahead and get this plow set up. Uh, we want to unfold the plow to begin with, and uh, I, I just absolutely love this game. This game is so much fun. Uh, and then we're going to want to go ahead and lower the plow, and uh, since we actually want to join these two fields together, we're going to create effectively a field in the middle that will join them. So we're going to do this key O to key fields. Or, uh, create fields here. So you can see, I am driving too fast. Go ahead and enter cruise control one. Um, we've got different uh, cruise control settings on the uh, 
on there, and I think I actually didn't line up very right, very good there. We'll go ahead and lift up our plow. Um, and then now I'm just going to keep uh, turning. Obviously, the uh, right thing to do in this situation is to uh, tilt your plow, rotate it right on point there, and then flip around again. Uh, I'm not going to do that. I'm more more interested in being efficient. Whoops! Pressing too many keys here trying to do too many things at once. Uh, so there we go. Go ahead and try to line up on this field a little bit better. Drop our plow. We'll hit cruise control 1. Now there's three cruise control settings uh, corresponding to the 1, 2, and 3 keys right on your keyboard. So like 1 is for like plowing and like very very basic uh, sort of dragging um, things. Uh, you, can also, you can also hit speed 2, and I believe speed 2 is good for harvesting, uh, speed 2 is good for spraying, uh, all that stuff is good. Uh, we're going to run over here and go ahead and trace out uh, this, other, this other side of the field here, because this is the important part. Uh, once I do this, I can stop uh, focusing so hard. So we're going to go ahead and line up pretty good here, drop our plow, get plowing. Oh, 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 we're not lined up very good here. There we go. Oh, jeez, just all over the place. There we go. Yeah, I went too fast. Alright, so there's, uh, there's a lot to this. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and turn the plow, because, uh, we need to, um, do this part right here. So as we're turning the plow, we'll go ahead and three-point. jazz. And we'll just keep repeating this process. Um, I'll go ahead and uh, do that as I'm talking here. I'm just going to go to the end, lift the plow, keep doing turns like this until the uh, the area is filled. Um, as we see over there, we still got our guy doing his, uh, his disking. Um, I actually don't have uh, very many uh, tractors right now. I've only got three tractors got like a little red tractor, but he doesn't do very much. I have to keep driving wide here. Just pretty much connect up this whole area. And then hopefully the other guy can uh, start disking. And uh, what, the, what that's going to do for us is uh, make it so we can plant both of these fields better. Because right now, uh, my sort of overarching goal is to kind of try to get one of everything in the game. Uh, and there's quite a few things. Um, you'll see through uh, this whole series that there's all kinds of stuff uh, that you can buy. Uh, different uh, harvesters and cultivators and planters. And, uh, this is just a really great game. Um, if you're a fan of farming at all, um, if you like farm machinery, um, if you like driving around tractors, uh, filling them up, emptying them, um, there's front end loaders uh, in this game, and uh, from what I can tell, they work just like absolutely regular front end loaders. Uh, let's see, what else can we talk about? Uh, let's go ahead. This is, um, this is uh, uh, I think I said in my other episodes too that I might not be able to ever upload. Uh, that uh, this is a lot of the game, um, is you're doing um, somewhat monotonous. Uh, but routine things, um, I, I, I find this stuff, uh, incredibly rewarding, um, sort of zen-like, um, this is kind of my little sandbox here, I'm um, having a lot of fun with it, oh, let's see if we get our blood on, oh, no, yeah, I screwed that one. Um, so, I, in the other game, I talked a lot about, um, how... There isn't really an economy in this game. You can just grow a couple of different kinds of crops, um, and then you can sell them for money. Uh, 
it's, a. Uh, um, as I said earlier, I, I find this game rewarding. Um, I didn't spend all that much on it, I picked it up on a holiday sale. Uh, and I've absolutely gotten my money's worth out of it. Uh, you get to drive all different kinds of, uh, vehicles. Uh, they all handle differently. Uh, one of the things that I really like about this thing is it's kind of clunky. It's a bit of a beast. Uh, but man, oh man, it can just, it, it can haul anything. Move anything, push anything. Um, and you start the game with it, so they do actually start you off with a pretty quality tractor. Um, they also have a, uh, start you off with a little red one, uh, that, uh, once you get it with a good front weight, um, it's a little power horse. Uh, it can pull all kinds of stuff. So here we go, we're almost done, uh, with our fields. Our field here. So, uh, yeah, I mentioned, uh, the, uh, overarching goal we have right now or that I have, is to, uh, kind of get one of everything in the game. And, uh, basically that involves, uh, just planting over and over and over and over again. Um, and getting enough money to be able to afford stuff. Oh, jeez, look at me. Swinging that plow over there. I am, uh, not an experienced farmer. Uh, oh, excuse me. Uh, I'm also finding, uh, actually that, um, when I'm recording these episodes, I kind of lose a lot of coordination. Um, apparently I'm trying to concentrate on, uh, too much stuff at once. So, uh, I, I thought that was kind of funny. Um, go ahead and just drag across here. Oh, go ahead and tip that guy out. Oh, no. Oh. So we're making a mess of the fields here. Uh, hopefully, hopefully all this stuff will, uh, uh, correct. Go. Oh my goodness. Alright, so, um, this is a pretty funny video, uh, so far. Um, also I apologize, um, if my mic is, uh, not very, not coming through. I'm picking up a lot of room noise. I have to crank my mic way, way up. Um, for you guys to even hear me, um, and then once I got it cranked up, uh, it picks up all kinds of static and room noise. Just uh, go ahead. And, you know, I'm like could have been done by now uh, if I've been taking my time and paying attention, but that's fine. Let's go ahead. And just really just uh, finish this stuff up here. Go ahead and get the uh, other, um, get the disc going on this field then, and then we'll get this guy to seeding uh, the other field. Uh, I got a great big seeder. Um, that was my previous uh, big purchase, um, is I just had this little seeder. Um, it only did about three meters, uh, which is basically just the width of the tractor. Uh, it, it, was, it was just painful. Oh, it was so painful. piece here, and over here as well. I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, swing back over here, make sure I've gotten all these little pieces. Alright, there we go. Go ahead and swing around again. And I know there's one more little piece over here that I, I spied. Oh, it's over here, I think. Okay. Oh, there it is. I see it. The wheel's just right on it there. Alright, there we go. Alright, let's go ahead and pick this plow up. We'll fold it up here. Uh, we'll give it away. Uh, this plow is another one that you get uh, right when you start the game. Let's see, where do we want to put this guy? You really don't need the plow too much. Um, one, of the, uh, uh, one of the first things that I did... Let's go ahead and put this guy right here. I do, I'll do organizing off camera. Okay, where did I put my cedar? Where did I put my cedar? 
Um, oh, there's that beauty right over here against the building there. We'll go ahead and steer around all our machinery. Uh, as you can see, I just kind of put my stuff uh, anywhere. Um, we have a exceedingly good uh, weather in this town uh, where we have our farm. Uh, this was another thing I should mention about this game since we're not really. Um, this is a problem since my first three episodes will kind of be lost. This will be my new episode one. Um, is uh, uh, the town that we live in is called Hagenstadt. And uh, I have the sneaking suspicion that we are not in America. Um, and uh, uh, it's not really a sneaking suspicion. Um, everything's in uh, uh, leaders and uh, um, appears they're uh, big on the metric system. So uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and get our marker out here. There we go. Now I'm just going to go ahead and kind of drive this big old cedar uh, into position. Oh, jeez. All right, so... Oh, jeez. Yep. Yep. So this is, um... So again, if you don't have fun doing this... There we go. That's lined up pretty good. The worker will go ahead and fix it himself. Uh, so let me just make sure uh, I uh, got everything going here. Uh, we looked down at a marker. Okay, we have our uh, canola uh, plant, or cedar in the plant there. Uh, we'll go ahead and cycle through the different seeds so you guys can see. There's grass, uh, wheat, barley, uh, canola. Um, so there's uh, uh, four types there. Uh, you can also plant uh, sugar beets and potatoes, uh, as well as corn. Um, corn obviously requires specialty equipment, uh, but not so much as potatoes and beets. Potatoes and beets require equipment just for potatoes and beets. Right, let's go ahead and hire the worker here, and I'll show you. He'll, he goes ahead and evens out uh, pretty good. There we go. Just cruising right along. So this is a starter tractor they give you. I, I love this thing. It's a beast. It's an absolute beast. It costs a lot of money to run uh, every day. Uh, but it's worth it. I mean, it's moving this thing like no problem. Um, speaking of no problem, let's go take a look. This, uh, we just picked up this tractor. Um, it's a great little tractor. Um, I use it to, uh, uh, haul, uh, big loads of stuff, uh, from my silos. You can see my silos. Here, let's uh, get out of the dust cloud there. You can see my silos out there in the distance. Uh, those four green silos. Uh, off to the left of those silos, there's a, uh, uh, dumping, uh, pen, where you can just dump all of your, uh, uh, crop once you've harvested it, and then it sor sorts it for you, and then you just drive your, your, your tippers or your, your containers underneath the silos, and they fill up, and then you can haul your stuff out to market. Um, they have a bunch of different marketplaces that you can, uh, uh drop your stuff off at. They've got a, uh, a train yard, and a mill, an inn, um, a country store, um, all kinds of fun locations to just kind of drive to. Um, it's so much fun watching this stuff go. Of all little details. Um, getting kind of a video glitch there. It looked like uh, front wheels were going the wrong way. Yeah, it's a bit of a video glitch. I don't even know if that'll come through on the video. It is no big deal. So, uh, uh, yeah, this is, um, like I said, I really like this game. Um, this is pretty much, uh, the basis of the game for me right now, is, uh, I just, uh, I own these three fields, and I'm just, they're my money makers, I'm trying to make as much money as I can on them, uh, cause then I can buy more fields. Um, you, uh, um, as I said, you start out with this small field that I'm looking at there, I then bought this other field off to the right, and I'm joining them together now, um, I believe they still show up. Um, as two different fields on the map, but we can plant them as one field then, which is nice because we hire workers and they, you know, do this big long work. Um, I hope I started the cedar. Oh yeah, I started him further enough away. See, the cedar uh, is like two feet wider than my disc here, so uh, I got to be careful that I don't um, start them too close to each other, otherwise they collide and. Uh, I suppose there's another thing to point out, since this will be the first uh, episode in the series, is uh, there are collisions in this game. Um, there is a uh, sense of physics to things. Things definitely have weight, and you can knock them over and whatnot. But the game is not uh, uh, is set up more to be a farming simulator and not a physics simulator. 
So, uh, if you ever get your vehicles stuck, and I have, there's a way that you can just reset them, and they just show up back at our little farmstead here. Um, it, it's actually, uh, I read online, people uh, uh, use that to actually teleport across the map. Um, you can take your tractor and your trailer, drive off to a, um, a, uh, a market to, to, to drop off your crop, and then you just reset your tractor and your trailer. And then uh, um, you can teleport between all your vehicles by hitting tab. So when you uh, reset your vehicle, it just shows back up at our home location. Uh, that's dead, dead ahead of us there. You can see my little green and yellow spreader in the distance. It just shows up in that area out there. Uh, and it's just no problem. Um, and as a matter of fact, that uh, red trailer right there looks as though I just reset it. So I might even have used that trick. Um, in uh, the video that I had, it might have been late at night, I just wanted to get home. Um, so, let's see here. Um, still got plenty of time this episode. Uh, I kind of wanted to try to keep all my uh, Let's Plays down to about um, 30 minutes or so. Um, as I said, I'm kind of new at this. Uh, I'm just kind of doing it to have fun. Uh, I'm playing this game anyway. Um, I usually will be listening to music while I'm playing, uh, but this is like one of these fun little games uh, that um, I enjoy watching uh, Let's Plays of. Um, I also want to show it off to a couple of friends of mine that just don't believe, you know, that it's very good. Um, but I think I'm going to be playing this game for a while. Um, I didn't spend very much money on it. I'm getting a ton of enjoyment out of it. Uh, I, I mean, I, I've probably played you know, a couple of hours of gameplay, where it's a, it's a lot of this. It's a lot of very monotonous uh, farm work. Uh, and it's actually very uh, entertaining for me. Um, you know, there's no other... Uh, I don't have to deal with the bad weather. I don't have to deal with equipment breaking. Um, I don't have to deal with the actual physical activity and waking up at all hours of the day. Um, I can just speed up time whenever I want to. Uh, you actually have a series of uh, time settings. Um, and I suppose that would be another good kind of uh, tech uh, uh, thing to explain in the game. We'll go ahead and uh, open up the menu here to show you guys that. Um, and when I get done explaining it, that'll probably be the end of this uh, episode. Um, actually, we'll end this episode when we get the disker um, to finish off the fields over here. That'll sort of be the uh, um, uh, good triumphant uh, success for our first episode. Um, so yeah, we'll go ahead and I'll bring up the escape menu here. And then now, this will pause the game. And we just have a series of things here. We can save our game uh, down here. Um, and I know you guys can't see my cursor, but I'll go ahead and highlight stuff as we talked uh, about it. Um, we have a board game, obviously. That's it. And continue. Continue just gets us out of this menu. I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, tab up here. Um, you have a great uh, sort of... Uh, this is the entire place. Um, this is a... Uh, uh, to sort of keep track of uh, what you have planted in your fields and what's ready to harvest and whatnot. So we currently own fields 14, 15, and 16, right about in the middle of the map there. Uh, you know, like you say, you start with field 16, I then bought 15 and then 14. Uh, but what we're really talking about is uh, this thing right here. Uh, so within this, we sort of have two uh, uh, time uh, things to be concerned with here. We've got time scale, and we have plant growth. Uh, now, time scale is uh, the actual in-game clock. So that's the clock that's in the upper right-hand corner. We'll go ahead and escape here and show you. That's the clock up there. Um, that clock right now I have set to real time. So quite literally, as seconds and minutes tick down, the, the, the world changes in the game. So this is actually pretty effective for planting your crops. Um, and I've seen a lot of people kind of stumble over this, um, and they kind of, I guess, treat it like it's sort of like a game time like in The Sims, where when you accelerate it, you then move faster, and your vehicles move faster, and that just doesn't happen. Your vehicles move at one speed. You can plant at one speed and one speed only. Uh, so, uh, that being said, we'll go back into this menu. Uh, we have a whole bunch of different ways we can adjust the time scale, you know, all the way up to like 120 times regular time here. I've really only used uh, real time and uh, max time here. And uh, what I do is, uh, so like plant growth right now is uh, set to 
slump. And actually, we're going to go ahead and do our time scale back down to real time. Now, plant growth is based off of in-game time. Or in-game time. I'm kind of stuttering here as we get uh, uh, long, in the, long in the episode. Uh, there's three different settings. You got normal, you got fast. Uh, what I like to do is, uh, I mean, it's not too hard to move things around. I, I, when I'm planting a field and when I'm harvesting, I move the time scale down to real time and the plant growth down to slow. Uh, that gives me plenty of time to sow an entire field, or, or rather, uh, harvest an entire field, uh, disc it if I need to, depending on my seeder, uh, finish seeding, um, and then I'll come in here. And then we'll go ahead and just crank everything up. We'll crank game time up to fast and plant growth, or excuse me, plant growth up to fast, and then time scale up to 120x. Uh, so what this is going to do is just uh, tick away like two uh, minutes and seconds off our game time, uh, and plant growth will be accelerated. Uh, what this means uh, for for the majority of my uh, game sessions here is that I can uh, plant a field at about 8 a.m. And then by about 8 a.m. the next day, it's ready to be harvested. Um, that's specifically with uh, canola. Uh, I don't know uh, if uh, this is my train of thought here. I don't know if, if other uh, plant types grow a little bit different. Um, I'd be surprised if they do. Uh, they really don't need to. Um, but doing this, uh, I'll go ahead and uh, crank the time up, and I'll like go and like deliver some. Uh, crop uh, to increase my um, my income uh, and other kind of things, uh, or go and buy some stuff, uh, move vehicles around. You got to get ready for that harvest. Get your get your harvesters in place. Get your containers ready to empty your harvesters so they can keep harvesting. Um, yeah, we're uh, uh, getting really long in the episode here, so uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and uh, unhire my worker. And we're just going to drive him right on over here. And uh, here, we're going to go ahead and start him uh, right at the end of this uh, thing here. And I'm thinking he's going to harvest the, uh, this, this whole field. And uh, that'll be it. So I'll show you guys. So this will be, this is, uh, this is a trial by fire here. Go ahead and set this guy up right on the edge. Yep, that's good. He's disking good. All right, so the plan is that we get all the way uh, to the other side of that field before this guy stops. Uh, so that should be good times. Let's see. Oh, we're looking good. This is looking great. All right. Okay, I'm happy with that. It's a good, it's a good two fields. Alright. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and let this guy get all the way to the end of the field. Uh, then I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, reset him. And, uh, Webster, we'll go ahead and, uh, just end the episode here. So, let him get to the end. I'll unhire him. There we go. Alright, so um, hopefully this will be my actual first successfully uploaded uh, Let's Play session. Um, went a little bit long, uh, but hopefully uh, you guys will stick around for my second one. Uh, thanks for watching.